What's good, y'all? In today's video, I'm doing a reaction for Lil Nas X's new EP, Seven. Y'all ready? It's lit. I came to vibe. You came to function. Just do that, baby. Don't worry about nothing. No, 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 no. I came to vibe. You came to function. Just do that, baby. Don't worry about nothing. No, no, no. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Bright here, the R&B Kid. I'm back in with another reaction. I know I ain't done one in a while, but I'm back to do one for y'all. Uh, but if this is your first time on my channel, please go ahead and consider subscribing. On this channel, I took all things music and entertainment while keeping it real, but always trying to find the bright side of everything, all right? And after you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit the bell next to it so you can get the post notifications. Every time I upload a video, you won't miss it. All right, y'all. So I know, I, like I, I like I said, I think I said in my Ari Lennox video, I'm facing out reactions because of the copyright situation. With YouTube is getting crazy, and I just it's, it's exhausting to to work so hard on your videos only to get copyrighted back and forth because of you know. So uh, I'm facing out reactions. I've told you I'm only going to doing them for like occasional projects. So I just have to do one for Lil Nas X's new EP Seven. Uh, so y'all know Lil Nas X, the boy who's Mr. Old Town Road. Hey, I'm gonna take my horse to the Old Town Road. I'm gonna. That song is a fucking banger, yo. When that song first came out, I was like, uh, but it grew on me and now I love that song. Uh, so y'all know uh, Mr. Old Town wrote himself. Uh, he's back with, he's not back, he's here for his first full length EP called Seven. Um, it has eight tracks on it, two of them are Old Town Road. The first track is the original, is the remix for Billy Jerry Cyrus. And the, the last track is the uh, original old time role, but besides that we got pretty much six new tracks. So I'm excited to get into them uh, So I'm gonna do reaction for y'all. Uh, so let's see how this goes. I'm excited for it. I don't know if it's gonna be like all like hip-hop slash trap country or if this is gonna be like all hip-hop or it's gonna be like all country I don't know, but I'm excited for what I'm gonna get regardless. So let's do it. Y'all ready? Lodos X7. First reaction. Let's go. All right, y'all, so I'm not going to do reaction for Old Town Road because y'all been heard it. We, we're going to move past that. So let's go to track two, uh, Panini. This sounds like it's going to bang already. This sounds like it's going to bang already. Let's go. <laughs> hey, Panini, don't you be a meanie. Thought you wanted me to go. Why you trying to keep me thin? Who the fuck is Panini? I thought you wanted me to see Hey, you lie. Still want you as a fan. Damn. This track Loki Savage. Like he's talking his shit on the song. You know, I appreciate it. I just wanna know who Panini is, but you know. I like what we talk about this song. This is a fuck you, I'ma get mine's track. And I never needed you in the first place type of track. So I, I, I like the energy, you know? But it's hella short, it's not even two minutes long. All these new artists with their short ass songs. Listen, I know y'all trying to finesse the streaming game and all that, but like, come on, like, what happened to the art of like full songs? This shit, this shit's starting to piss me off. Like, music has been compromised because artists are just trying to get the streams up and I'm over it. But that song was still a vibe though, so shout out to Panini. Oh yeah, another quick note about Panini before we go on to the next song. Um, I wanted to talk about the um, the Nirvana reference, because shout out to Nirvana, probably one of the greatest rock bands in the 90s. And their 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 album, Nevermind, is still probably one of the greatest like rock alternative albums ever. And I like that song in Bloom. Uh, that whole album was just amazing, but um, shout out to Lil Nas X like infusing the melody of and the arrangement of in Bloom uh, for Panini. I think he, he did it well, so I just wanted to mention that. So shout out to him. I think that was a great sample. I think he used it well, so shout out to Lil Nas. And shout out to Nirvana. Track three, Family, You and Me. And this track, not even three minutes. <laughs> None of these tracks are over three minutes long. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, got some rock vibes on this one. This sounds like a typical like 2000s pop rock track. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. This sounds like, like some Green Day shit. I don't think this little emo rock vibe fits him like that. 
but I appreciate him trying, you know, new things and trying to be like the the guy that could do anything. But I don't know if I'm feeling this track on first listen. You, you and me, and I like the, I like the guitar riff, but I don't like the song in general. It just seems like hella random. I don't know. Track four, kick it. Can I kick it? Yes, you can. If you need, we get it for me. What the? F <laughs> what the? <laughs> Did my guy just say, if you need weed, get it for me? <laughs> Did he just say that? <laughs> Yo, Lil Nas X is not serious, bro. Let me run that back. At least he's not serious. <laughs> okay, now I got a gutter hip hop track. All right. Okay, when that beat drop, all right. Okay. I love the saxophone in the back. <laughs> okay, we're not getting bars on this track, but. This track is cool, but it just seems so random. I don't know. Yeah, we for me. <laughs> it's good. Girl. It's good. I I just uh, that track was it was cool, but it's like uh, I don't <laughs> I don't know that track. I feel like I gotta run that back to you know if I like really love that track. Off first listen, I'm like the vibe is cool, but like it's like it's like is that it? Yeah, I don't know, but maybe I need to run it back to we get get what the idea of that track really was, but. Mm. All right, y'all, track five. I've been excited to hear this one. Rodeo with Cardi B. Let's get it. Okay, now back in the country vibes. Let's go. Something more familiar, you know. Country with some 808s. Here we go. Old Town Road's cousin. Let's see. Hey. Baby girl, don't you forget. <laughs> I'm gonna call you later on. Don't you forget. I like I like this. I like the subtle rock influence too. This is a little bit of rock country and hip hop. This is dope. I like this hook. It's, it's cool. Come on, Guardy. Hey. Only be his widow. Hey, haha. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, hey. Okay, Cardi, I love the first. She killed it. Simple and to the point, she killed it. I love it. And she sounded she sounded good on the track too. Her voice sounds good on the track. I like this. This, this is a highlight for me off the EP so far. I like this joint. I take it all back. Don't care about what you thought. Then we got some like Spanish horns at the end. Okay, this track is a whole mix of a whole bunch of shit, but I like it. It's a vibe. Oh, that track was I actually like that. That was nice. Shout out to shout out to Cardi. Great verse on this track. Rodeo was I like Rodeo. That's nice. Rodeo was dope. Track six, bring you down. Okay, some more like rock guitar riffs. I don't know what's gonna bring you down. I don't know what's gonna bring you down. Damn, so negative, Lil Nas X. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna bring you down. Damn. Okay, this track is hard. I like this one. I I mess with this vibe. I like the lyrics, the message. I'm listening. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna bring you down. You know. I like this. You know, since you hate on me, I'm gonna bring you down. I like this. And then like the Nirvana type like rock guitar riff in there, I like this. This little black boy is touching every genre right now. <laughs> and he's like, I dare y'all to say something about it. <laughs> I ain't mad at it. 
I feel like this track would sound crazy like in a big arena or stadium. Yeah, this, this track would sound crazy. Man, I want this to be longer. I like this track. Track seven, closure, you like. Okay, now we got some like, like pop dance vibes. Okay. I can't whistle, y'all. I wish I could. I can't whistle. Okay. Okay. Set boundaries with myself. I can't cross the line. Alright. This is a cool little breakup track, you know? I need closure, you know? It's always about what you like. I need closure. It's always what you like. I mess with this too. I mess with this. No more for me, baby. Only green I gotta go. Only green I gotta go. <laughs> right. Uh huh. Amen. I can't be regretting. This is what I gotta do. I gotta. I gotta get closure. I like this. This is a cool way to end off the. You know, end off the EP before we go into the you know, the original version of Old Town Road. But I like this. Nice little piano in there too. That was nice. I like that. Okay, little Nas X. A vibe. A vibe. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So I just got done listening to the project for the first time. A uh, very interesting project to say the least. I think it's probably one of the most out there and just interesting projects of the year so far, I feel like. Um, you know, obviously, I, I, that was my first listen, so I gotta definitely run everything back, especially the tracks we heard before. Um, I gotta run everything back to see how I really feel about every track. Uh, but I'm still gonna give y'all my first, you know, reaction review of the project, because I still feel like this, you know, I, I feel like I got a good feel the project. Um, what can I say? I feel like this EP housed so it housed so many different genres. Um, I feel like I feel like the one question everybody was having about this EP was okay, what direction is he gonna go in? Is he gonna be going fully hip hop, fully country, still doing a mix of both, or is he doing, is he doing like something completely different? And I feel like he did he did it all. Like he he had I think Roadie was like another like uh, country and hip hop song, and then he had some other songs that were just different. Um, Panini. Felt like it was more on the hip hop side. Uh, Family You and Me was a rock song um, that I didn't really like, but you know, he gave us that rock vibe on that. Kick It was like kind of its own little weird vibe. Um, that track was okay to me, but I gotta run that back to see if I really like it. Uh, Bring You Down was like kind of like a nice cool rock song. Uh, Closure You Like was more of like a poppier EDM song with some with some Spanish vibes in it too. Like it, this 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 EP really had so many genres going on, um, and I think um, the thing about his like his love of so many different genres is the thing is I really respect the variety and the adventurousness of this project. I really respect it from someone who is who is so young like him. Like um, especially this him being like a young black guy like. I just love that he is so like not afraid to just try anything. Like he he's not afraid to just get on that mic and try out a country track, try to do you know do his thing on a rap song, try to rock song, try to pop song. Like he's really like not afraid to do whatever he wants, and I think that's impressive as fuck. Um, so I respect it. Uh, but even though this project is really genre less, um, and like I said, as much as I respect. Uh, the variety and adventurousness of this project i also feel like it can be a little bit frustrating with him um because it seems like it's more like him trying out all these genres i feel like it can feel like it's it's more by him uh just you know throwing whatever he can throw at the wall to see what sticks uh because he doesn't yet know what he wants his legacy to be you know as opposed to him being someone that's truly like you know standing firm in his his desire to really do anything he wants creatively and really just um you know, be be like a be you know be like a a jack of all of, of all trades in this music industry. Um, so I don't know. I feel like I want to believe that you know Lil Nas X is on this wave he's on because he wants to really he because he really wants to be someone that just is able to do everything because he genuinely wants to. But I feel like sometimes I feel like what this EP show me is I I also get the vibe that while that could be true and I hope it's true, I also get the sense that. Lil Nas X is really on his way because he doesn't really know exactly what he wants to do. And that's not necessarily a bad thing because he's really young, he has time, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but 
I feel like it's it, as a, I feel like as a listener and as someone who would want to become a fan of his, I feel like it's a little it, it's a little bit you know it undersells him a little bit to be someone that's just trying all these genres. Um, you know, I I I I don't want to put any artist in a box at all. But I feel like him just trying out all these genres can give me the vibe that like, oh, this boy don't really know what he want to do. He's just seeing what everyone likes the most, and he probably just go with that. But I, I want to sit him down and be like, Lil Nas X, like, what do you really want to do? And if you really want to do all this shit genuinely, then all right, cool. But if you're just doing it because you don't really know where you want to go, then I'd rather him and his team just take some time and sit down and really figure it out. Um, but... You know, at the end of the day, even with all that, um, you know, and even as you can tell, he still has way more maturing to do with the music. At the end of the day, this music is fun as hell. Like all the music is really fun, um, so I can't get mad at it. Like it's a really fun EP. I don't. I'm not, I'm not gonna take it too serious. I'm not gonna act like it's album of the year. I'm not gonna you know critique it like that because I feel like this is a fun little EP that he wanted to put out there. Uh, you know, for people that wanted more after Old Town Road, and for people that uh, were interested to see, you know, what else he could do besides that song. Uh, so it's fun. You know, I'm not gonna take it too seriously. It's fun. Um, and also, I want to note that I, I I I love that he uses EP as an opportunity to really like, you know, to really like, you know to like really like tell off all his naysayers and all his haters like i feel like he really used some tracks like i want to i want to say like panini in particular and probably like bring you down definitely bring you down i feel like he wanted to use those tracks as like a way to like talk to his haters and all his naysayers like who who thought he's a one-hit wonder who thought he can't really do anything else out here like listen don't bring me down don't come in you know don't come kill my shit i'm i'm here to stay and i'm here to i'm here to come through and y'all going y'all going y'all gonna look at it so I, I like that he was really talking his shit on a lot of on a lot of these songs and like I said they're really fun so I, I mess with the vibe. All right, y'all. What else can I say about this EP? I think that's really it. Uh, I think the last thing I'll just say is um I think this EP definitely did a good job of showing that he has way more up his sleeve and that uh he definitely could be one of the great examples of artists uh, continuing to push the boundaries you know in this new like genre blending era that we're in. So we've been in it for a while now, but I feel like Lil Nas X is one of the first artists that's come along that is really like. You know, blowing, you know, bulldozing that, bulldozing that door down of like, listen, we, this, this new generation, we're like, genres are not gonna be a thing no more. Like, we're all just gonna make whatever music we wanna make and you're gonna fuck with it. Um, so, I feel like this EP is definitely showing that he has way more he can do. Um, but I just wanna see him hone in more on what his, identity and what his sound really is i want him to hone in on a sound i'm not saying hone in on a genre but just hone hone in on a sound i think he's working on it but I, I you know and he's still young so he has plenty of time it's all good but i want him to keep working on it uh because i don't think um i don't think this ep really showed like i don't think this ep was a great like artistic statement but um it was a vibe and it was fun as hell so you know shout out to little Nas X. it's a cool little project um i think the besides family you and me that's the only track i really like I really like most of this EP, uh, but like I said, I gotta run it back because that was my first listen. Uh, but I really like the, um, I think my favorite tracks of this EP, I'd probably say are definitely the Old Town Road remix. I already, as y'all know, I love that song. Um, I'm probably gonna put it in my, in my Bright Subjects Volume 10. I probably will. Uh, Panini was cool. I, I know it's a single right now. I don't hate it, but for me, I like other tracks more of the EP, namely Rodeo with Cardi B. Love that track. Bring You Down. I love that track. And I like uh, Closure You Like. Those are probably the four tracks I love the most off the EP. Uh, in terms of my rating for this project, I hate rating EPs uh, because I've, you know, it's, it's less tracks and it's like, it's not really like a full album. Okay, what's up, y'all? This is Editing Bright. Um, so I, that was my first reaction of the album, as y'all can see. And uh, it was cool, but after I listened to that project for a second time, after I filmed the first one, I was like, you know what? I, I had to reevaluate. I was like, you know what? This, this project is actually a little bit more wacky than I thought it was at first. <laughs> um, so I, I stand by most of what I, what I said in the review part. Uh, but in terms of my rating, I decided to actually switch it to a 2.5 out of 5, y'all. So that's right. All right, y'all. Peace. Alright y'all, so that was my reaction to my review for Lil Nas X's EP 7. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed my reaction to the EP. I know I gave y'all my rating, I gave y'all my thoughts, but now let me know what you thought about the project. Uh, comment down below if you thought it was amazing, if you thought it was whack, if you thought it was okay. Uh, and also let me know what were your um your favorite and your least favorite tracks, alright? Appreciate y'all. And also guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, alright? Appreciate y'all. But alright y'all, I'm about to be out, but like I always say, live your best life, drink more water, stay woke, and if you're mad or sad, go listen to your favorite song, make you feel better, okay? Alright y'all, I'm about to be out. This has been your boy Bright, the R&B Kid. Thank you for watching, but for now, I'm signing off, baby. Bye y'all.
function just through that, baby. Don't worry about nothing, no, no, no. no. I came to fight, you came to function just through that, baby. Don't worry about nothing, no, no, no. Relax just a little bit. You don't gotta worry, you can just have fun. 